Wind Patrol 2010. This is a great little program that runs on all flavors of Windows from Windows 98 through to Windows 7 with 64-bit support. It's a small and quick download. Simply download and install the free version, test drive it. If you like it, upgrade to the plus version. It's a small fee and it's worth it. And what I would do, if you go here, you have the option here to click to upgrade to Wind Patrol Plus, which is a good idea. Just click on the button, but test drive it first, see what you think. And my advice is it's worth it. Now I'll enter my code and restart the program. Now, if you look at startup programs, you can get a list of all programs that start up when you boot your computer. You can get further information on them. You can move them over to delayed start. You can change the delay time options. And I'll increase this to 10 minutes. And it will then start 10 minutes after the computer's booted. So it doesn't slow down your boot time. It's really very simple. And you can apply this to any program. ActiveX lists ActiveX used by Internet Explorer. You can also list all ActiveX controls, including those not used by Internet Explorer. And you can also check the validity of them. As you can see, there's Microsoft Corporation, PC Pit Stop, and so on. You can expand the window, get more information. Plus users can get more information in a browser window. And as you can see, this is a safe application, so it's not a problem. And it explains what it is and what it does. Internet Explorer Helpers. This shows browser helper objects and extensions that are added. Scheduled tasks and when they're scheduled to run. Monitor. You can set the time to monitor this for tasks. And really, you don't want to set it too low because it's not going to change very often. You know, I set this at 10 minutes. I could probably leave it at 20. Internet Explorer Helpers. Monitor. Now, plus users can monitor in real time. Free users have to set the time for it. Now, plus users have the added benefit of the pro program being optimized by 30%, which it's quite a big deal. So it's worth the upgrade to the plus version. Again, for ActiveX controls and startup programs, free users have to enter a preset time plus users can monitor in real time. And this is a great advantage, especially with so much malware around at the moment, uh, when you consider what there is and what's being hit. Now, cookies, you've got Internet Explorer, Mozilla-based, and also Google, if, you, if you've got Google installed. You can remove checks to keep a few, or you can remove all of them. It's entirely up to you. Again, you can monitor it, but it's advised that you don't. File types, you can go through the files and you can verify what the files are and who they belong to. The companies are listed. Hidden files, you can get the last written date. Recent files will show you recent changes and when they were changed. If you go to options, Plus users can hide alert messages and quite simply you can either show all alerts or you can hide and allow ROM once programs by updates or select whatever you like. You can lock file types. You can also detect changes to Internet Explorer home and search pages and changes made to the host files and critical system files. Now free users need to set a time in minutes. Plus users monitor in real time. You can all create a Win Patrol log. This will open up in a browser window and it will give information on everything that you have on the main user interface. You can create a spreadsheet report, a hijack log, which you can submit to hijack this forums. You can view and modify the host files. You can view the history, export settings, restore or delayed. You can display the original Scotty taskbar icon, allow plus info data collection, which doesn't play well with all system configurations. If you have a problem, come back here and untick that box. You can track changes in restoration file, hide the Scotty taskbar icon, play sounds. This is useful when malware downloads, you get the barking to alert you. 
confirm exit when closing wind patrol monitor, automatically run wind patrol when the computer starts. This is essential, so it monitors from the moment you boot. Windows Explorer integration gives you the right click context menu, which is also useful, where you can check files that you've downloaded. Now, I've got a bit of malware which I will install, and I'll run it. This one is Windows Police Pro, and Scotty alerts me that there's a new startup program. And this program will run and it'll find the usual junk in super quick time. So I'll continue unprotected, and if we look at Wind Patrol and go to Recent, as you can see, there's two items here Plug IE DLL. I'll remove that and then click there, Windows Police Pro, kill the task. And that's it, the task is finished, it's not running. There's nothing in active tasks with today's date, which is the 21st. And if you look at startup programs, there are no additions in there either. So the program has been removed, the threat's gone. Now another one here, this is Antivirus Plus, which it's been around for a long time, and it's still being downloaded. Uh, according to statistics, between June or July last year and June this year, there were 43 million downloads of malicious malware rogue programs. That's a hell of a lot of programs. Now, if we go into the plus, uh, sorry, go into the recent here, and we will see Antivirus Plus. We have five, five entries. So just remove, and you might find other odd bits and pieces like SVO host and stuff like that that shouldn't be there, and you can simply remove them. Uh, because there's so many pop-ups, you'll get that browser window opening because you're getting the number of pop-ups, and this is purely another layer of protection. And this is a great program as part of a layered security approach. It's a very small footprint, it runs in the background, and it only alerts you when something changes. It really is a great little program, and it's worth downloading, test drive it, and see how you get on with it. You know, 64-bit version, no problem. And it's got a neat little interface, and it just goes from strength to strength. It really is a useful piece of work. Now if you want any more information, check out my blog, you'll find the download links and further information there, which is FreePC Security, and the link is freepcsecurity.co.uk.